up everybody i'm in the back seat of my new defender that's right in the back i decided to do a review i've owned it for seven days and i wanted to go over a few things that you might want to know about the new defender at least things that i would like to share um, number one uh, if you're coming from a vehicle or a car i should say into the new defender uh, you're going to notice that you will be visiting the gas pump a lot more frequently. I came from an Audi A4. I was getting about 27, 30 miles per gallon. Now I have the Defender. I'm getting about 14 miles a gallon. So uh, I purchased my, when I took delivery, let's say, of the new Defender. All right, I'm going to quit saying new Defender. The algorithm will get it. Since I took delivery, it had about 35 miles when I, when I purchased it. Uh, I now have 1,100 miles on it, so um, I've been driving it. I love driving it. This thing eats up the miles. Uh, it just, it's so comfortable. Um, but yeah, you'll, you're definitely gonna be going to the pump a lot more frequently if you drive it, uh, if you're gonna daily drive it especially. Uh, number two is the interior. Uh, the interior is amazing, okay? The, these seats are so comfortable. Um, I got the they're not like the they're not the lowest they're like the mid-range so I still have some lumbar support um, it has um, uh, electric uh, I guess it goes up and down uh, but it is mechanical where you have to pull the latch and slide your your seat front or back um, but I did get the the leather with the textile um, material uh, super comfortable um, it's got the perforated leather it just smells amazing right now you know having a, a brand new car it's always gonna have that great great smell um, the the infotainment system is amazing uh, the the screen it's a touch screen uh, I got the digital dash with this one uh, you're able to put it in different view modes um, I personally like the tack right in the center uh, I'll do a video of it so y'all can see it. Today I'm not going to do that, but I have the tack right in the center. I have my GPS or my map right on to the right of me, and then I have my media. So if I have my Apple CarPlay going on over to the left, it's really cool layout. That seems to be my favorite. Um, the ambient lighting at night, uh, I'll do another video as well. Um, there's several, I mean, you have the whole rainbow to choose from. Uh, I ended up with the dark blue. There's like three different blues. I, I went with the dark blue. It looks awesome at night. Um, I mean, come on. It has a coat rack inside, okay? Uh, there's my jacket. I was gonna hang it, but it was, it was blocking uh, the view. It has a, I guess, grocery bag hanger or purse. Uh, yeah so these go right in the back seat they clip in there's different attachments so you can have one that'll hold your iPad so if you have people in the back your kiddos in the back they want to watch movies or whatnot uh, yeah so they plug to the I mean they plug in the back of the uh, of the, the seats there's no excuse if you own a defender that your battery is dead on your cell phone no excuse there and I can count, I can't even count them all on one or two hands. There, how many charging ports and uh, USB connections. And I mean, there's two, there's one right behind the seat. I don't know if you hear that. There's, there's a USB connection. Yeah, they're not type C's, uh, but they're behind the seat for God's sake. There's, there's two down here. Uh, up right below the, the the HVAC and I'll show you that in another video too uh, I mean there, there's so many plugs so your your whatever device you have will never die okay I mean this camera is literally sitting on the built-in refrigerator okay yeah I said freaking refrigerator all right right now I have uh, two waters in there, um, uh, mineral waters or whatever you want to call it. You can fit up to four beers or four waters or whatever you want. Uh, and these are 12 ounce. Uh, maybe you could fit eight. Um, right now I only did did four. Um, I'm down to two. So uh, I have a freaking refrigerator in here. Uh, there is a third row behind me. Okay. 
Number three is uh, the exterior, okay? The new Defender has is just, it's eye-catching. You will get so much attention in this vehicle. Um, um, personally, I got the uh, Tasman Blue. I saw it out in the wild uh, just recently. Uh, yes, I'm driving in it, but I don't know if you're anything like me. When you see someone else driving your vehicle or you see... Um, you give the keys to the guy that's going to take it in for an oil change and they drive your vehicle off and don't you just fall in like you fall in love with your your car again if you're if you're into your car um it, and it's like damn my car looks badass uh when someone else is driving it you know you get an, a different perspective uh well i saw another tasman blue out in the wild which is very rare there's not too many uh blue ones out there uh, but when I did see it, I was like, wow, that looks badass. And I happen to be driving one. The design of the new Defender, uh, some people, you either love it or hate it, or you probably love it because you don't know what it used to look like. People who owned a Defender or knew what the old Defender looked like, the old body on frame Defender, uh, usually the diehards are the ones that don't really like the new design, which I understand, I understand. But I love mine. Number four uh, is going to be the air suspension. I mean, the suspension on this thing is amazing, okay? The ride quality, amazing. It's so comfortable. The, the airbag uh, allows you, or the suspension allows you to lower the vehicle. My wingman is 95 years old, okay? Uh, this is uh, a, a, a little higher than what he's used to get. I mean, a lot higher than what he's used to getting into. Uh, used to, he's used to getting into my Audi A4, which is like S-line package. It's lower, way lower. Um, but what's cool is with this, with the Defender, you can lower the suspension all the way down, which I think it's called access ride height or something like that. Don't, don't get mad because I misquoted it or didn't say it right. I think it's ride access height or something like that. So basically, it lowers it and allows people to get in um, my wingman to get in uh it, it makes it a lot more accessible for him to get in and out of it uh and uh outside of lowering it which it should never be lowered i don't think you should ever use the word lower or low and defender in in the same sentence and that's just ridiculous right you don't want a, a lowered defender in any aspect uh but the accessibility makes it awesome to do it and then boom you, you raise it and you're on normal ride height it's an awesome ride height. It gives you plenty of ground clearance just like that. Um, and then you can set it up to off-road mode. Uh, off-road mode, I uh, haven't been able to take it off-road. I'm here in San Antonio. I did take it on a little dirt road, which doesn't count. I don't think that, that counts, but uh, I did raise it. Um, I raise it when I go through the grocery store parking lot while people are staring at it. I, As I'm driving through the neighborhood, I'll raise it just to, you know, why not, right? who can say i'm gonna do a quick three inch lift uh, on my on my truck so you raise it and it looks badass like i said plenty of ground clearance um, you will not bottom out on anything number five uh, number five is uh, get ready to get some uh so or receive some attention i mean people are looking at it and wanting to know about it uh single guys out there uh man to man I'm just letting you know women they really don't pay attention to it or they're a little bit more discreet i don't know but uh i mean dudes are pointing at it they're coming up to you they're wanting to know by they want to see the inside they want to they want to know all about your new defender right um so i can't say that i mean I, so far i haven't like hooked up with any chicks or met any chicks yet but uh it's been all dudes for God's sake. Um, but hey, you know, if I see a badass uh, car, if I see a freaking what, uh, a G Wagon 4x4 squared, or if I see an Audi R8 or Lambo, I mean, come on. I mean, man to man, you, you're going to appreciate a, a, a vehicle. Um, but yeah, so I, I wouldn't say this that women are, are just going to come flocking to you, to your Defender. <laughs> You might get a different type of chick though. Who knows? Um, I know when I had my Jeep uh, at a BMW, 
and then the women that I met in the BMW was completely different than the women that I met in the Jeep. So uh, let's I'll, I'll, I'll fill y'all in on, on that in the future. Um, I'll see how uh, the chick game goes when it... Uh... Anyway, I was wondering, is there a Defender Wave or some... I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe we should start one. I know with the Jeep, there's the Jeep wave. Uh, hand on the wheel, Jeep wave. But no Defender wave. We've got to start one, guys and girls. Um, or if there is one, somebody tell me, what is the Defender wave? Uh, and I'm not saying, like, if you see another Land Rover or Range Rover. I'm talking about if you see another Defender out in the wild. Is there a salute? Or what should we come up with? Right? I, I think we should do one if there isn't one. Uh, let's come up with one. Uh, number six is the uh, sound system. I mean, this sound system has got the Meridian sound system. It sounds amazing. Um, I really, if we weren't on YouTube, if we were like on Patreon or something, I could really, I'll, I'll plug in some, you know, Led Zeppelin or something and let, we could jam out. But uh, do an album of the week type deal. But uh, for copyright, uh for the sake of copyright, I can't play any music here on the YouTubes, but uh, it sounds awesome. Uh, you just have to take my word for it. But I, I had to, I had to share that because that's one of the things that really stood out was the the sound. I mean, this thing has got speakers everywhere. I mean, there's speakers left and right, probably in the third row back here too. There's speakers there, left and right, up in front, up. I mean, it's just surrounded by speakers. It sounds amazing. I would definitely check that box if you are building yours uh, check that box for the uh, upgraded sound system um, and then number uh, number seven is a lot of times we overlook these type of things but I'm gonna say um, it's not has nothing to do with the defender but the fact that that I where I bought my defender uh, number I think uh, customer experience is super important. So I, I purchased this from Land Rover of Bernie here in Texas, and that dealership has made this experience of owning uh, my Defender an awesome one. I went into the service lane, and the guy's like, uh, can I help you? And I was like, yeah, I'm here to do the car wash. What's it gonna cost me? And uh, he goes, well, how much do you wanna pay? I was like, well, I heard it was complimentary. He's like, well, yeah, okay, well, it's complimentary. and. Uh, he, he gave him the keys. He took it to the back. I watched him drive it away. It looked amazing. I was like, damn, that's a Tazman. That's mine. Uh, they washed it. I was next in line, so I really wasn't waiting. And uh, But I have a story about that. Uh, so he gives me the keys, and he's like, hey, do me a favor. The next time you bring this in to, for a car wash, put some mud on it, for God's sake. And I was like, you got it. But I wanted to make sure that you guys were going to wash it, because I'm going to make you all wash it next time when I get some mud on it. Uh, but when I was in there uh, waiting for my car wash, uh, there was another gentleman who had purchased a, uh, a Defender. And, um, but that was number seven, okay? Um, Defender, the purchase of the Defender, and then the dealership, the customer experience. Amazing. Um, but I was in the, in the dealership waiting for my car wash, and there was another gentleman there. He, was getting, he had uh, just purchased his, but he wasn't there for a car wash. Uh, he was there because he got some check engine lights and I was like, oh my God, please, I don't want that. I had someone asked me the other day on my first video if I had gotten any check engine lights uh, yet. And I was like, no, no, no check engine lights, please. Uh, I don't know if y'all have seen the TFL off-road uh, channel uh, here on YouTube, but they have gone through, I think they're on like their third Defender. So um, the gentleman there at the dealership was uh, getting a software update and his, uh, his key wasn't unlocking the doors. Um, it should have like a proximity sensor that senses that, you know, the keys within range, allows you to unlock it, lock it, whatever. Uh, but his wasn't, it wasn't uh, unlocking. Um, and then uh, he was having some issues with the maps uh, glitching in and out of. So he asked me, what are you doing? Like, what, what, why are you here? I was like, well, I'm here for the free car wash. He's like, well, damn, I didn't know I had free car wash. I was like, I, how many times have you been here? He's, he said, unfortunately, he's been there. That was his third time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm so grateful to have picked 
and I'm so grateful that they built my Defender um, on a Monday. I, I, I say they built it on a Monday because they, they had the weekend off, they had plenty of rest, uh, they had plenty of coffee, they came in Monday morning, they started assembling mine, opposed to it's Friday, they're tired, they've been working their ass off all week, it's 5 o'clock, they're like, oh, well, let's plug this in before 5, oh, it's 5 o'clock, the bell goes, the whistle blows, and they're like, all right, let's get out of here, and they're like, well, where do we put this, and I'm like, yeah, just plug it in, they won't even notice, so mine wasn't, I'm assuming, wasn't built on a Friday, it was built on a Monday, it's good to have my Defender, it's good to do videos in my Defender, it's good to do videos in the back seat of my Defender. Uh, maybe I'll do another one in the front seat. But until then, peace. I hope you liked the video. Smash the like button. Follow or subscribe. Uh, look for a coupon code down below. Uh, it's for my soap company. That's the name of the title of my channel, Grow and Guide Code Soaps. You can go to growcodesoaps.com. Uh, with the holidays just around the corner, anyone on your naughty and nice list, just drop them a bar of soap uh, in the stocking stuffer. Uh, you'll be surprised you'll love it they'll love it it smells good you'll feel good it's all natural handcrafted by me each bar hand cut hand wrapped it's quality i'll put a coupon code down below just for you thanks again i'll see you in the next video peace